Hey guys, welcome to Muskoka Bros. Tell us a little more about what somebody sent us in the mail. What we have here is the stainless steel uh, um, cook stove or cooktop, uh, something that you're going to place over a campfire. It's an Ontario company, a Canadian company, and they're called uh, Get Out, Stay Out. I was referred to them through uh, Quick Wick. Uh, if you don't know who they are, um, the link will be in the description. Um, basically, Quick Wick is just a um, fire accelerator lasts for 30 minutes so they referred us to go so and I got talking to Mallory and she was anxious to send us this stuff because we do reviews and she she obviously loves our stuff Robbie 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 when uh, quick quick told us about this I uh, had actually thought before that it'd be awesome if quick wick teamed up with something uh, to use their like with a stove of some sort they referred us to this, which is even better because uh, we're going to, on a trip to the Algonquins this weekend. So it kind of worked out. We I talked to Mallory and she uh, she said, you know, what, what kind of videos would you be doing? And I said, well, if you get it to us in time to take to our kind of final uh, Algonquin trip for the summer, we can use it then. And uh, so we're we're pretty pumped to to see what it's all about. I've seen pictures. Mm -hmm. Um, I've kind of looked through the website and everything and really really good professional uh, website so it's it's not just like a Kijiji ad so <laughs> these guys are legit <laughs> yeah. which is really yeah. cool yeah so I just I received it just a couple days ago but we've been waiting to shoot because of scheduling issues <laughs> Nobby, Nobby. <laughs> okay so let's uh, let's rip this puppy open. all right so this is not uh, the miracle of editing we really did just get this in time for our trip and uh, so here's my EDC comes with me everywhere David inspired me to do this now what does and EDC mean so everyday carry so this is I walk this to my vehicle every morning, it's in my vehicle every day, and it has everything from first aid to quick wicks, to hatchet, to underwear, to lip gloss, lip gloss, lip gloss, I mean yeah. lip balm. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna peel through here to grab a knife, which is another thing I carry in here. Um, quick wicks. All right. So this knife is a beauty. Royke is a gift from David. I spoil him. <laughs> All right, let's open that puppy. Okay, let's see what we got here. It's in a bag, that's excellent. As you can see, it comes in this nifty little uh, traveling bag, which is great mm -hmm. um, because I think I think the I don't know. This is this is what I think is when you leave camp, there's going to be all kinds of stuff on it, and you probably try to clean it as best you can. But every time, your biggest concern isn't making sure that every last burnt piece is off of this. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking that they have this kind of carry bag not only to just carry it, but uh, so that anything that's dirty or anything that stays in the bag, so it's not getting anywhere else greasy or right. anything like that, which is, I'm. this is an amazing thought to kind of go along with this. And then there's their name right on the on the bag itself. So let's, uh, let's see what it looks like. Uh, another thing I thought of too right away with this bag is you're probably not going to put this in a pack per se, mm -hmm. but this will strap nicely on the outside of a pack. Mm -hmm. And with these, it can be uh, nicely attached to the outside of a pack. So this is wow. Great. So this is stainless steel. It's light. This is my yep. first impression. It's a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. Okay. That's for sure. And it's packaged well. Let's see. Oh, yeah. For something that gets this compact mm -hmm. and small, like if you had a big enough pack, you could slip yeah, this in. Certainly, especially my 70 liter. <laughs> so th this is awesome that it comes 
it kind of comes this slim so it could fit in different spots but having the bag is amazing so let's uh let's see how it works mechanically all right okay actually another thing that popped into my head right now too is because it's flat surface and not rounded like the traditional grill that you would see at a park is rounded and it's very very hard to clean the 360 mm -hmm. yes right yeah but when you're doing your dishes at camp your plates and your bowls have a lot of flat surfaces they're easier to clean so i'm just i'm just saying what's coming to my head right now you're ripping exactly okay so how does this work so oh, wow wow that went together really quick and from what I hear on the internet is that this has uh, different positions and I think you push up yeah there it is. push up and then on the sides there's these three little I guess you can push them into this locking part to give it uh, a different position I guess higher or lower uh, which is a really really cool idea Right, so if you want to get something a little bit further from the fire. Yeah. Right, okay. All right. Where are we at on the back there? And this is probably easier when it's on the ground, yeah. the way it should be. Yeah. But uh, to show you guys at home yeah. and to make us look amazing, yeah. we have to do it at this height. 100%, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, like I, I'm guessing like kind of cook area and stuff like that. And then up here is kind of the stuff you want to keep mm -hmm. uh, a little less warm. You could rest kind of your coffee and your stuff up here too, mm -hmm. which is yeah. cool. Yeah. So you could be warming here, or you could have cooked something here ten minutes ago, yeah. and it's just staying warm up here. These are all all things that are popping into my head. Yeah. But I think that's a sign of a good product oh. when it makes you think. Um, one thing that I read was that this this is ready to go to cook on right now. You don't. You know, you don't need to clean it or anything like that. There isn't any weird chemicals uh, with this uh, this tray top. Um, so, like, th that's not a concern or anything like that. So, I'm excited to use this on our Algonquin trip. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's, honestly, it's not as heavy as you might think. Um, other things that people bring can tend to be, like, way too heavy, but uh, like what would if you were to put like a weight on this what would you say now <laughs> yeah, i'm putting for, you on the yeah, spot sorry it's it's tough because i used to work out so yeah. things are still pretty light for me okay i'm it's gonna not have, like you're yeah, dylan yeah exactly <laughs> this is a this is a dylan <laughs> four pounds and this is a kind of a maddie uh, two pounds yeah i'm guessing I'm guessing two pounds. Yeah. And uh, I know we're trying to do a minimalist trip this weekend. Yeah. Uh, for the Labor Day long weekend. And just a backpack is all we're bringing. And I know for some that's, you know, mm -hmm. that might not even be minimalist. But yeah. for, for, the, for the average guy, that's yep. minimalist. Uh, no coolers, no extra stuff. And I don't see this being an issue. Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really excited to use it because most time we go out and we have to kind of configure some fresh wood to kind of just make a platform yeah. Yeah. or we have to hope that somewhere has like a little bit of like a nasty grill mm -hmm. still left there yeah right so nasty. having this is gonna be like high class yeah um, so we're gonna try to do a couple different cooking things we've got we've got four other guys coming with us on this upcoming trip so we've got pretty much guys that haven't been on a canoe trip for five years mm -hmm. and then we've got guys that um i think terry he camps as much as he can mm -hmm. and uh he's he's pretty experienced and stuff like that so we're gonna have different takes on this grill so yeah. we'll have different opinions mm -hmm. and but yeah so far we're loving the the high quality of it and the professional uh grade of uh, what we see on social media wise uh, they are on Instagram. They have an uh, they have a website. I don't know about Facebook, but if there is, we will link everything mm -hmm. in the description. And we just want to say thanks to Mallory for uh, sending yeah. us this. 
guys, it's only, I think it's around something mm -hmm. along those lines. Mm -hmm. And that's fairly, that's fairly cheap for one of these things when you consider um, how different this is and how different your experience will be once you get out there and start using stuff. Because gone are the days that you just need to bring um, oatmeal in a package. Like you guys, you know, you can, depending on how long your trip, you can take this stuff with you and utilize it. And yeah. Yeah. Get out, stay out, go so. Uh, if if you have one of these grill sets, um, let us know. Uh, tell us in the comment what you th what you think about it. And uh, if you're interested, uh, let let us know. Let Goso know, and they'll get you one as soon as possible. So we're gonna wrap up here. If you like this video, uh, like and subscribe on YouTube, of course, and uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And most importantly, guys, you just got to get out there.